record a turntable movie. So we can record a turntable movie, which is an animation which our model spins around 360 degrees over a certain time frame. So this is a good way of seeing our sculpture from all points of view. So um, let's take a look. One of the things we want to do is we want to make sure that my grid is off. Okay, so make sure your grid is off. This tends to slow things down a little bit. And uh, so we're going to turn that off. Next, we're going to go up to render and we're going to create turnable movie. Uh, so, and once we get to a turnable movie, we have to set our size first. I can pick my actual size or pick any standard preset. So I could go up to a 1920 by 1080 YouTube uh, high def. Uh, so that's typically what I like to run at myself. I'm going to just run at actual size. I can set a custom width and height if I like. We come down to our timing. If I run 60 frames and I'm doing it at 15 frames per second, I'm going to have a four second animation. So I'm going to kick this up. I'm going to say 120. Give me an eight second animation. Okay. And 15 frames per second is pretty standard. Okay. So uh, we can leave that. And uh, we can set the anti-aliasing. Uh, this is, helps clean up the angle of lines. It gives us a better quality, but it runs slower. I don't always see the need for this. Uh, I'm going to keep it in quick time. I do have some, some options. Uh, I can do Adobe Flash or Swift, QuickTime or File Sequence. Not all the greatest options, but I'll go with a QuickTime movie. And I'll say Create. It'll ask me for a name. I'm going to come out here and place this in under my rendering, and I'm going to call this uh, Turn Able Movie. All right. And I'm going to hit Save. So I pick the folder in the file name, and it's going to generate this saving the frames. And uh, so you can see down here in the lower left hand corner, I'm at 58, you know, 70. So uh, it goes along. And remember, this is an eight second animation uh, that it's creating. And so the file will open up in whatever player you have. And, and it's opening up in whatever player. And you can see it's spinning it around, okay? And it's just spinning it around and it lasts an eight second movie. So that is uh, recording a turnable movie. And so I have that file available. I can put that on the internet. Um, you know, that, that file can be given to other clients, etc. So it's a great way of sharing your models with others. So this is recording a turnable movie.